In part 1, I showed you how to test Peltier modules safely and assemble them on heatsinks. In that video, the temperature on the heatsink managed to get to minus 0.9 degrees Celsius using the 12712 module. Today, I will be using the same 12712 Peltier module to create a DIY mini fridge. Stay tuned. I wanted a mini fridge that could store four large soft drink bottles of 1.5 liters each, two at the front and two at the back. So I started by measuring one bottle to get an idea of what size would be required for cooling. The polystyrene I am using is 50 millimeters thick for better insulation. The external dimensions of the mini fridge will be 60 centimeters in height, 34 centimeters in width and 34 centimeters in depth. The internal part that will be cooled will be 35 cm in height, 24 cm in width and 24 cm in depth. I measured out all the parts Cut them Then made sure they fit well together To glue the parts together, I used silicone it is important that solvent-free silicone is used with polystyrene so it does not melt and bonds better. I also sealed the internal joints with silicone to provide a better seal and wiped it off to finish. Here I am inserting a few kebab sticks through the joints so that it is more sturdy while drying. I slid in the bottom part and put some weights on everything so that it remained compressed while drying and again sealed the internal joints. Simple door cupboard magnets will be used for the door of the mini fridge to remain closed. The magnets will be attached to the polystyrene using the silicone and this will be strong enough to hold them firmly once dry. I took measurements for the fan and heatsink so that the middle shelf section can be cut to fit them.
For the heatsink part, since my polystyrene is 50mm thick, I went down to 2cm so that everything could fit level. Then I measured the peltier on the heatsink so that I could cut through the lower part of the foam so that the feltier would be exposed from the bottom. I secured the hot side of the Peltier to the heatsink with thermal paste and super glue. The module I am using is the 12712 12 amp model. From the bottom part I inserted a smaller heatsink that will attach to the cold side of the Peltier and this was held in place with metal clips that the heatsink had. Those were inserted in the polystyrene for support. Thermal paste was added to the small heatsink and spread out. Then the entire unit was fitted from the top and secured to the smaller heatsink to sandwich the Peltier. Using aluminium tape, I secured the wires in place to make them more neat. I also added aluminium tape to the sides of the heatsink module. The middle section with the cooling unit was then inserted in the mini fridge. An internal fan was also installed over the smaller heatsink but not directly connected to it so that the cool air generated can be circulated inside the fridge. The door was put in place so that the small hinges could be attached. The hinges were secured using silicone and small screws for better support. Two metal pieces were placed on the inside of the door so that the magnets could catch them when the door was closed.
These were also secured with silicone. And two small screws each. Next, the handle for the door was installed using two 4mm thick bolts and washers through the polystyrene. This would still be strong enough due to the thickness of the foam. A smaller piece of 1cm thick foam was installed on the inside of the door at the top part. A hole was punctured at the top half at the back so that the supply wires could be passed. At the back, I opened up a square hole that would allow the hot air blown over the heatsink to escape. This hole can later be covered with a vent or a mosquito net to look better. For the top part cover, the same concept with a magnet was used. The whole cooling unit was further secured by using a thick piece of polystyrene to help keep it more firmly in place. I connected the fan, Peltier and temperature sensor positive and negative wires all to a connector as shown. And passed the positive and negative wires of the temperature sensor through the front panel. Measurements were then taken for the front fan so that a hole could be cut for the air intake. Positive and negative wires were connected to the temperature sensor and it was secured in place using two small screws. The ATX power supply I am using is placed outside the fridge, although it can fit in the top compartment near the large heatsink and fan, and it is capable of supplying the required 12 volts at 12 amps for this Peltier, and the current needed for the fans and temperature sensor. The 12 volt supply wires pass up through the back as shown. That completes the build. Now on to the exciting part, testing. A warm Pepsi Max bottle measuring 30 degrees Celsius is inserted in the fridge.
After two hours, the Peltier was at minus 1.3 degrees and the internal temperature was around 14 degrees Celsius. In a separate test with no internal fan, the Peltier managed to drop as low as minus 9 degrees after two hours. Look at all that ice on that heatsink. Really cool. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe for more.